Okay, this video, this <coughs> is in a lower, um, lower uh, resolution, so we can go as long as we can. So, I will enjoy this moment with sunshine, with uh, flower, with the colorful backyard, and uh, with a magazine. It's not really a magazine, but uh, it's a, a product catalog. I like when product catalog comes out so pretty. And some, uh, <coughs> not the, 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 the biggest mark, like, uh, <coughs> like the more expensive stuff. They are, they are within our price range. They are within our acceptable range. But uh, you feel a little bit uh, more serious when you buy it. It's not, uh, not the least expensive, but you can afford it. You, it's just the right, right, what do I say, the right uh, rent for my life. It is more than I can, accept, I can accept, I can use, this is more than I usually would like to accept, but um, a little bit higher price make me feel that it is more treasurable or it is more cherishable or it is more valuable. I think this is a marketing trick. <laughs> Yeah, I I do not uh, <clears throat> I do not know how the marketing people design it, but actually these things um, <clears throat> you can produce it to lower price, higher price. Um, the, the the pricing strategy is uh, is a very interesting and tricky thing. They intentionally make it more margin or less margin. Actually, at the end, it sells the same, I think. You have lower price, more people to buy, you have le le less margin. And the more people you sell, the more customer service you will need. And uh, at the end, it's, uh, it's finally getting into the hand of the producer. It's actually the same. It's just how you want to position yourself in the market. Don't you agree? Is there any marketing people in here? At least this is a mama's economy or Haying's economy. And uh, <clears throat> it's not so much about this trick, that trick. It's, uh, it's just that simple. And uh, price is, uh, is a, a, another kind of trigger or another, <clears throat> another balancing weight in people's decision making it's nothing more than that these things you can mass produce with lower price or you can you can you can put a lot of advertisement and uh, add a lot of overhead and make it more expensive at the end you make the same amount of money by selling these kind of products anyway so <coughs> Oh, this tea is so good. This tea is so good. I like this kind of design. I like more like this kind of design. It is a very delicate design. Let me drink, finish this cup. And then you can see the side of the design. Okay, almost you can see actually. The more I drink, the, the more I can tilt this. And it is actually a very simple design with lines and cross, um, uh, uh, crisscross together and uh, combined together. But it's very uh, interesting design. Let's see. This is the darkest leaf. Let's do a, a, a study of... Uh, are we in the right zoom? I really cannot see. Okay, here. Oh, this is not the right zoom. Let me lift up a little bit. It's too dark for me to see. Okay, I will not bother about the zooming of this. <coughs> That's Saturday with uh, life around the moors.
So I like this kind of design, a bone china, very uh, delicate, very thin and very light. You feel the, you feel it is fragile and you feel it needs a lot of uh, attention, swan. You need a lot, a lot of um, careness in it. I like it. And this design is pretty, but um, personally, I don't think I will buy this kind of design. It is uh, quite a sick. A bit, I don't know. Um, it's um, when you you can do it, you know. It, it, I I don't know. It's not fair to say that they are not doing a good design. It's just um, <clears throat> it is a good design. Let's say. See, this you can do in paper cutting, and uh, and you can do very, very good design like this. It's very inspirational how you can, you can make something simple yet very elegant and very, very pleasant to the eyes. Those designs, positive, negative. Oh, this design looks. Look at it. Yes. It is very simple with uh, the same hue, blue, white, light blue, dark blue, and even indigo blue, all this cobalt blue and, uh, uh, and uh, <coughs> turquoise blue, all these blues combined together. It's a very beautiful color. And this one, blue and green with yellow, blue and yellow with green in between, it makes uh, it makes a very good uh, a transition and a combination and a tiny bit of a pink. And this pink with a little bit bluish, purplish in it, just make it so harmonious and, uh, and contrast. I think it's a, it's a very smart combination. Look at the tea cup. <coughs> Another cup of tea. So, how much tea do I drink? I drink uh, when I am at home, I have more time, and uh, maybe I have, I am in a spirit of drinking tea, and then I do not stop, but always keep drinking, 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 a lot of tea, just, uh, and then you rinse yourself from inside of your body. And look at this shape. It's so interesting shape and very beautiful. This one. The wall, they make it so pretty. And this one, it is so smart. And gray color. The other day I saw on Pinterest, Pinterest or Pinterest, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I saw some fashion with gray and yellow. I never thought about it, and now I, I realize it's a, it's a such a beautiful uh, combination, color contrast. Gray is very um, forgiving, tolerating, and very humble color. With this uh, lemon yellow coming out, it is stands out, but not too much contrast. There is no conflict in the color. It's one. It's like uh, a family, one beautiful lady and uh, one uh, very humble, generous, caring husband. <laughs> or anyway, this is a very, very nice color combination. Look at this. This this apricot color becomes darker and uh, gray color very <coughs> compromising and very supporting, very supporting. Right? It's a beautiful color. And this with so many colors. Oh, that's so good. With so many colors, mostly the color is in harmonious and some color jump up, but still there are other places to get, uh, you see here and here and here, there is a color echo. And this way is uh, harmonious in the sense of shape. They are all the same shape and different color. This one is an interesting one because uh, it tells a story. 
the hot dog, dog with shape, with shape and change. <clears throat> This looks quite uh, rustic and looks quite... Uh... Don't you agree? This one is so pretty and so easy and pretty. The color uh, explode and pop up. It's not really a color explode. It's just uh, as if there is a dash, there is a drop of color. Ping, 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 pop up here and there. This one is very harmonious. And this one is very clean and with some color coming up. So it's not boring. It's not boring because there's only one or two color. But they are all contained in this environment. And I saw this flower, so I want to do some of this uh, tissue paper flower. It's easy to do and uh, <coughs> and very, uh, very effective, don't you agree? And you cannot make mistake on this kind of flower. You cut the paper, cut the paper into a certain shape and fold and pull up which way, this, ever, this way, that way, whichever way, it all comes out good. That's the good thing of doing this kind of uh, artwork. It's very, or craft job, it's very, very, forgiving, very, very <coughs> tolerant. Oh, look at this red in red. That's so cute. Can you see anything? I'm sorry, must be too much. Let's do this way. Okay. Yeah, I put it this way here. Maybe this way you can see a little bit better. Or oh, I totally move the chair here, everything in the shadow. I think there are more, m more. The grass, grass cutter has some problem. They have to stop from time to time. <laughs> what a terrible job <laughs> they have to do. Grenadine, yes, this year we have grenadine, um, pomegranate. Is this pomegranate? Oh, we have uh, Buddha's hand pomegranate in our own backyard. We have this uh, bougainvillea in our backyard. Oh, we don't have this orchid. This is so much like um, like uh, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe's flower. The flower, not from my garden. If you, ch I have painted this. I have draw an oil pastel with this. It's, uh, okay. Ooh, bamboo. Ooh, this looks like a jungle. We love band. Oh, we have never done this because I don't see, I think we do not have a strong enough wall for it. And, uh, and keep the wall plain, it's uh, nothing wrong with it. But that is a very good idea, I think. Very good idea, fantastic idea. And fruit in the couch so that you can make a lot of dash and spot and stain on the couch. Co 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 coach. And uh, that's a very good advertisement. <laughs> and with olive, but there's no tray for the olive seed. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and here chili pepper and fruit, they have done some gardening. I think we are doing a good job in terms of the kitchen revolution. The other day I read in a food and wine magazine, it's called uh, The New Revolution or Kitchen Revolution is to plant some kitchen garden, to, to plant something that uh, you can make into an organic garden, or make, uh, make a, a, a produce backyard, produce garden. This one is yellow, um, this one is, we, we have this one. If you take a look, I think this is a lemon boy, 
or maybe super steak. We have both super steak and lemon boy. We didn't have radish and the sausages. We do not, <laughs> of course, we do not. We never thought about uh, growing beans because uh, it usually does not cost too much to buy. And uh, tomato, we, we, we plant it because uh, you can buy it, but what you have planted in your own backyard, feels you feel so different. And this mug is... Uh, when we were young, we all have this in, in the school bag. We have one of these in our school bag so that uh, in, during the class time, during the, the, the recess time, we go to get some hot water. I remember in, in China, I think uh, our teacher does not allow us to drink tap water. So we have... Uh, um, <coughs> We have uh, uh, boiled, boiling water. Uh, every school has uh, um, a chimney or, or kettle, a huge kettle to have uh, boiling water. So in recess time, we go to get some boiling water and uh, let it rest and drink it. <coughs> I forgot, it's been too long time ago. I think uh, <coughs> West Elm should pay me for, <laughs> for making such a, an advertisement. No, they didn't pay me. I just, it's just a uh, um, uh, um, catalog in the mail, and I like to look at it. And uh, through looking at it, I get some idea and do something about it with my idea. I can do some drawing. See, this one is so pretty and so easy to... Oh, oh, we lost the focus. Yeah, I'm saying this one. This one looks so easy, the flower, but it's very effective. Same as this one. So oftentimes, design pretty, not because they are... They are <clears throat> complicate. It's because they are simple and there is a message in it and uh, and uh, you do not need to make it too complicated. A lot of repetitive pattern is, uh, is pretty. Whichever way you you make it very tenacious, what is the word, a tedious and diligently repeat the same pattern in the same place, in the same uh, supposed place, it comes out a pretty design. And if you are very um, spontaneous and do something that uh, out of nowhere, come out of nowhere, it is still your own personal character and it gives your products a lot of personality and, um, <coughs> and uniqueness. So there is really no right, no wrong, no which way is better, no which way is worse. They are all good as long as you put your heart and soul into the things you do. It will be good. Oh, I saw these flowers. I will make these flowers also. This Ah, this is my bed, Mamon. <laughs> it is the same jam pot, like this jam pot. It's so easy to clean. <coughs> and it's not expensive. It's one of the least expensive, I think. It's, a, it's not expensive and it's a, it's a decent quality, I think. So we keep buying this one. Oh, this one, <gasps> watercolor comes out to be so beautiful. Love it. How oh, beautiful. <gasps> Just a splash of color and water and comes out so beautiful. This I do not understand. <clears throat> and I think this, uh, from where I forgot, there is uh, 
a lot of um, magazine or fashion trend they are talking about geometric shape it looks like a geometric shape that just uh, these uh, geometric shapes are in uh, a la mode right now it's in, in fashion now oh look at this color It's getting hot now, even under the shade. Oh, this one looks so clean and pretty, don't you agree? Eureka, with all these things. This is a very, very impractical. This is not practical. I, at least in my sense. Where do you put your computer? Nowadays, who does not work with a computer, right? There should be a place to put computer. And if you put computer, there is no place. You have to move around everything. Anyway, this is just to put here for design use, for, 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 for looking. And if you write something and there is a so small space to write, you cannot even put your hand on it. It's, it's a staging anyway. So, so it's okay. It's okay. Oh, this one is quite, quite interesting. Yeah, this, this is very free. Mm. Mm. And this can make. Uh, first grade, second grade students very proud and uh, they made, uh, make them think that they can do better than this one. That's a very encouraging piece of work. I like it. I like it. Makes first to second grade proud. I like it. I like it. Furniture is not my job. I do not know. I do not. Cubist. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's so interesting. <coughs> <coughs> This looks like a house for the Ding 
keys, I think. Single. Uh, no, double income, no keys. And uh, yeah, that must be a very old word. But anyway, it looks like no children live in this house. Otherwise, this will not be child proof. And this sharp edge is not child proof. And here is not so child proof. <laughs> I like these lines here and there. It's very oh, this one. Ah, this is like uh, the Chinese lantern we have now. Well, that's a very good idea, actually. I will do it this time. Right here, right now. When I finish this magazine, I will do that. Oh, look at this line. It's, don't you think it's very pretty? How can they grow to be so pretty? <laughs> It grows to be like this, or it's man-made like this. This is something that I, I, I doubt the most, to eat or drink in the beach. It's so, so, so unreal, with sand in your, in your food, in your drink. Just, just unreal. It just for food. Oh yeah, I, I want to have this one. I think I need this one. Schmidt Brothers Barbecue Collection. This one is so good. You can put things in and the grill and do not fly away. And uh, that's a very, very smart thing. Ah, yeah. Guandos, I will take a look, stir, mix. Do I need to tell me? I Do I need people to tell me to stir, to mix, and to store? I don't think so. I will design by myself. Oh, I like this one. Thank you. should go to check out the, ch the shop. And uh, I'm very lucky that uh, the shop is in my vicinity, vicinity, so it's, uh, it's quite close to the place where I work, so I can go to check it out. Oh, oh, uh, the ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got this from the store, so it's okay. There's no address in it. Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I never used Instagram. Let's check it out. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Bye bye, friends.